Aaron Judge just spoke on the field about the renewed energy for this team, this series, with all the additions you guys made at the deadline. How would you describe the feel around this team right now? Um, yeah, it, it, obviously it's been good. And anytime you come out and you get a sweep, um, that's you. And we've been playing better baseball now for a while. You know, we've had the documented difficult losses, but they need to get up off the mat. Obviously, we've brought in some new, really good players in the mix that have come in and been contributors right away. Um, and I think everyone's, you know, excited about that and, and you know, know, know what's ahead and know that um, the tough road that's ahead, ahead of us, but uh, I feel like we're ready to, to embrace it. With um, Rizzo, yet another clutch hit, also a big defensive play in the bottom of the inning. Does he just continue to impress? Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the, the first play at first in like the third inning where Wade went down the line, just the footwork to get to the outfield side of the bag and just make it look really easy. And then and then obviously the 363 with Chisholm running, just the calmness with which he does it, but the efficiency, obviously a huge play there to get out of that inning. Um, and then the, you know, Blyers, you know, that's a tough lefty lefty matchup and um just a pretty job of just hanging in there and going the other way and um yeah i mean he's obviously you know kind of been one of the stories of the weekend for us you mentioned wade he doesn't play a ton of third base but overall what did you think of him it seemed like he came up with a couple of big plays this afternoon he really did that last one down the line was was pretty special one where it, really shows off his athleticism. And I'm right in line with him. I thought he got a great jump on it, exploded at it, obviously down the line there and made a great play. But yeah, he made some good plays over there um, and did a good job. You know, he got on base some this this series um, down towards the bottom of the lineup and, um, you know, definitely went in there and provided us a little spark. You go next to Justin Walters. Aaron, staying on Rizzo, what do you think has allowed him to have a seamless transition into this clubhouse? Is it more just his makeup has been a perfect fit for your identity on this team? Yeah, I think it's his makeup. I mean, he's he's one of those, if you went and surveyed around the league and talked to people, you know, he's one of those, you, you chalk up uh, special teammates, elite teammates, great leader, um, easy going, uh, easy to connect with with everyone so you know he's he's cut he's cut out for that you know he's but I would yes I would chalk it up to his makeup you go next to Randy Miller Aaron after a uh, game yesterday Herman said he felt phenomenal and then he ends up on the uh, injured list today what happened and how long do you expect him to be out I don't know well you know we'll get back to New York and probably get an MRI for him um, he had a little shoulder soreness after his last start. And then, uh, you know, last night when he was going home, he felt a little bit, a little bit this morning. So um, we'll see. We'll see how, you know, I, I, I don't want to speculate too much on it, but it's, you know, it, it's been in there enough to where he's he said something. And uh, so we'll, we'll find out what we have this week. And Cashman said on a radio interview today that, uh, Kluber and Severino could be back uh, from August 22nd to September 1st. Is that your understanding that both of them could be back as early as uh, late August? Well, yeah, Sevy's ahead of Kluber, obviously. Sevy's getting ready to make a start Tuesday, I believe, in Somerset, where he'll be, you know, probably three innings, 45, 50 pitches. So, you know, Sevy's a lot further along. I think uh, Kluber's set to throw a, a live session tomorrow um, in New York. So he's, he's starting to move that way, but... Yeah, I think that's um, that's probably reasonable, especially with Sevy. Thank you. Can we go next to Dan Martin? Aaron, just follow up on that. Does that put Nestor back in for into the rotation for now? Yeah, so Nestor will slide back into Herman's spot. Okay, thanks. Gladson. How do you feel about the uh, overall uh, road trip? It was pretty good. <laughs> It was. I mean, we, we, we had a couple of really tough losses in Boston where, you know, to lose three out of four when we felt like we could add a couple more, um, you know, but the, we, we, we've been in a tough stretch of games, you know, a lot of, you know, 
going back to Mets, Seattle, Houston, Boston, Tampa, you know, Philly, like it's been, it's been a tough stretch. And I feel like we've, we've really held our own, especially in, in the midst of some really tough defeats that the guys have, again, time and time bounced back from and got off the mat from. And um, so, you know, you always, you always want a little bit more, but in the end, you know, to go on a 10 day road trip and get, get six, um, you know, that's pretty good. Uh, but it, it, it's also in the rearview mirror now. And we're starting a big homestand and we got to keep rolling. Jordan Montgomery uh, pitched really well. What did you think? I agree. Um, you know, that little little struggle to get going that first inning where they put some long at bats on him. Um, I think he ends up throwing 27 pitches, but you know, um I thought he settled into a really nice groove there for a while and then got himself into a little bit of trouble there in the fifth and just executed, made some really good pitches to, to Rojas to, to get out of that, to get out of that jam second and third, you know, where the game could have gotten away a little bit. He made some really good pitches to Rojas, who's really tough against lefties and had some good at bats. I thought his first two against them, but yeah, Monty continues to, to pitch really well for us. And, and today was another one. Thank you. Can go next to Lindsay Adler. Aaron Glaber, Glaber Torres hit pretty well um, against Boston and Tampa Bay. What did you see from him this weekend at the plate? I mean, 162 games. I mean, he had two games where, you know, he just, and, and by the way, we're facing really good pitching over there. Like, as much as we got a sweep, and that's really, we, we, we didn't score a ton of runs partly because of that pitching staff. Alcantara today is, you know, about as tough as you're going to face. Rogers had an all-star first half. Arms out of the fence can really hold you down. So, um, you know, pokes the ball the other way. is lap adds an insurance run. So not too worried about labor right now.